This week on Command and Alien Attack, Instagram breaks another record and where you can connect now. Welcome to episode 262 of Command N. I'm Amber. It's been a few weeks since we've done a show. A lot has been happening with everyone on the Command N team, but we're back just in time for the holidays. First up, another record has been broken on Instagram, one of our favorite photo sharing services. On Thanksgiving Day, more than 10 million photos were tagged with Thanksgiving and other Thanksgiving related words on Instagram. In fact, at one moment during the day, there were approximately 200 photos with a the Thanksgiving theme uploaded every single second. When you first say hello and present your business card, you're offering up a little bit of you. A little bit of paper that tells the person you're meeting about your business, your style, and of course, how you can be contacted. But a Moo card with NFC lets you say so much more. An NFC card can link to almost anything. Your entire portfolio, music, video, web pages, social networks, downloads, discounts, maps and apps. Think of it as being like an enormous third side to your business card. A side that is revealed simply by touching it to an NFC smartphone. Back in the day, you might remember when everyone was flocking to Flickr, they put out these cards called Moo cards. It allowed you to take your Flickr photos and turn them into these really sleek little business cards. Well, Moo cards have not gone away. And in fact, they are taking us into the future. As of the new year, they're going to enable you to create your own Moo cards that are NFC enabled. That means there'll be a little chip in your card that you're able to program. So let's say that you're like me, you do a lot of television work and you want people to be able to see your demo real quickly. All they have to do is put their phone, their NFC capable phone, scan it over the business card and your demo will pop up. As the holidays are approaching, you're probably doing lots of photo taking and photo editing. A couple of weeks ago, I stumbled across this tool, which I absolutely love. It's called PicMonkey. It allows you to do photo editing on the fly online. Super simple to use. And if you're a fan of services like Instagram, where you can add filters, PicMonkey will do all of the same things. The service is mostly free. You have to pay for things here and there. But generally speaking, you can do all of the basic photo editing functions that you would need to do without paying a penny. All of us on the Command N team have been involved in social media in one way or another over the past few years. And you may not have known this, but Command N has been produced under our company, MGI Media. Well, we recently rebranded this company to be called Connect, and we are super excited about this new chapter. Yes, that's Connect spelled all with Ks. We'll be doing a new segment on Command N called Connect Now. And our first segment with this new title is from Laura. <laughs> I'm here at the Social Media Lab Annual Symposium Influence 12, and I'm joined today by Gilad Lotan, who is the Vice President of uh, Research and Development at SocialFlow.com. Could you tell us a little bit about SocialFlow? Yeah, sure. SocialFlow is an optimization technology. We're a startup in New York City, and effectively what we do is help our clients figure out the best time to post to social media. Uh, let's say you're The Economist. You have all this content on your website. Uh, do you post it all to Twitter and Facebook? Do you post some of it? When do you post it? Right? These are all questions that they have to deal with on a daily basis. Uh, what we do is we build these uh, intricate models of their audiences online. So who follows The Economist on Twitter? Who fans them on Facebook? What, what of the articles tend to get comments? What gets likes? What gets shares? What gets retweets? Right? All these metrics that we can pick up from social media and we effectively uh, score all the content that they could publish and figure out what's the best post to publish to the network at any given point in time mm -hmm. based on all these historical models, based on what's going on right now in the network, what people are talking about right now, based on how active people are at any given uh, point in time. We started uh, mostly with media accounts, so mainstream media, they have this very specific problem. Uh, how do they know what to post and when to post it to the network? And then how do they know how well they're doing? You don't want to publish everything, right? We definitely see diminishing returns uh, uh, the more you publish from a certain point in time because uh, it, it effectively takes over people's feeds, right? So you have to figure out how to cut things down and then a message appropriately. Uh, one thing that we do use uh, a lot in the data mining team is Wikipedia. So we not only use the actual Wiki Wikipedia pages to understand topics and the relationships between topics because it's a really beautiful, clean data set and really, really well organized. 
Uh, so we use that for data mining purposes. Uh, but we also use uh, uh, the, uh, the logs, the traffic logs. So Wikipedia also publishes and makes available all traffic logs. So that actually, that's, that's another. That's a social signal uh, that's av available to anyone who wants it on the web. Uh, but it gives you a lot of information about what, what topics are hot right now, right? Based on where traffic is shifting within Wikipedia. I've seen a number of, of websites and tools that claim uh, certain hours of the day. For example, you know, Friday at 2 p.m. or Wednesday evening. Those are the best times for engagement. I'm sure like, everyone has seen those types of studies. And they're extremely, extremely flawed. Uh, because a lot of them, they don't take into account the audiences. Right? And that's when, when you actually start to look at the groups of people who follow the accounts that you're, that you're looking at, uh, you recognize that each, each group, uh, each network, has its own certain pattern. So there's definitely, we definitely see patterns in the activity of a, of, of a following group. So people who follow Pepsi are in their behavior, in their activity, are very different from people who follow Al Jazeera or people who follow Burberry. Right? The patterns are different. They might wake up and be more active at different times of the day. That's great. Thanks so much for joining us. You can find out more information at socialflow.com. And now back to Amber. I've been checking out a bunch of different gadgets and products that are great for holiday shopping. Here are my three top picks. First up, we have the App Blaster from Aptivity. This is a fantastic little toy that comes with a companion app called Alien Attack, and it is absolutely so much fun. Over the past few months, I've been playing around with the Samsung Galaxy S3, big fan of the phone and of the Android operating system in general. I've been searching around for a new case, and one of my favorites so far is from a company called Peer Gear. They make this utilitarian case that have two things that I love. One being the little kickstand, so you can sit it up if you want to watch videos, and also the clip so you can attach it to your bag or to your purse. Makes it really handy, especially if you want to be hands-free. Ever since my days working with Leo Laporte on Call for Help, I've been familiar with the company Scott E. Vest. However, until the past little while, they never made women's wear. I'm so excited to say that I wear a bunch of their different jackets, but this one is definitely my top pick for the holidays. This is a nice fitted women's jacket. It's very warm, very cozy, and of course, like all Scott E. Vest products that he puts out there, it has lots of pockets for your gadgets and gear. That's it for this episode. As always, you can find us online at commandn.tv, and I have to tell you, we have an exciting episode in store for you coming up where we interview LeVar Burton from Reading Rainbow and Star Trek. You don't want to miss it. See you soon.